Hi, this is Jeff Walters with JJWDesign.com. Today I'm going to go over a quick demonstration of how to look at the geocoding information that's stored with the JJW Design Google Maps package for Sugar CRM. Right now I have a version uh, Community Edition version 6.5.14. I've already logged in. I'm going to go ahead and go to the administration page. Let's go down to the bottom of this page and you should find a Google Maps section and one of the more important enlightening parts about this Google Maps uh, administrative section is the geocoded counts page it's over here on the right hand side if I click on, click on that I'll be shown all the geocoding counts the types of responses for each one of the m modules uh, available for mapping as you can see in this small table here our accounts, we've got 38 accounts that have been geocoded properly, 12 with zero results, a total of 50. You know, contacts, we have 127 that geocoded properly. My leads here, I have over 5,000. I imported in some addresses for testing. Quite a few of those were proper, uh, properly formatted sample data addresses from all over the United States. Uh, some of the other ones here, you'll notice the the ones that have zero results, typically uh, when I'm doing the testing here, I use testing data from Sugar CRM. Sugar CRM's testing data really doesn't have actual addresses. Uh, it's, it's sample data. It typically doesn't geocode properly. But then it does describe uh, very well some of the situation you'll come up with. Uh, depending on the geocoding that's done from the Google Maps API, or the Google Maps geocoding API, you'll get different types of responses. OK is the, the type of response you would prefer to get. That basically means that Google Maps did re return a response with a determined position and the information was able to be stored with the record. Zero results, typically these are addresses that um, might have been formatted properly but Geo, they couldn't really the the, geo, the Google Maps geocode API could not determine where the actual address was located I had no idea invalid requests that's really really bad if you get a lot of these um, and then of course empty is a situation where your address hasn't been filled in yet like for example uh, some of these targets down here don't have proper addresses um, so there may be situations depending on you know how your data is set up, but you want to keep an eye on this as you're um, geocoding your information. Starting out, you're going to see uh, situations where you'll have a whole bunch in NA. If I reset the um, accounts and contacts here, for example, now I have 50 that uh, need to be geocoded here and 200 in the contacts, and I can actually click on these module names to start the geocoding process and it's a batch process so it's going to try to geocode as many as possible but keep in mind that it's limited to 2500 requests per day as well as about 10 requests per second so it could be you know minutes before this process actually uh, gets completed I would recommend running it as a scheduled task use this cron URL here you can also hit this URL directly from any other page um, uh, set up your own you know, management of that URL somehow other than the schedule task schedule tasks are probably the easiest way just copy this URL and take it over to the scheduler which is part of the administration page I scroll down here find scheduler and I can set up a Google Maps geocoding process and what I did is just to let you know here, let's, let me open that up and show you this. I just set this up to run every two minutes. I pasted my URL in here. That's the job URL. Um, this is a typical job URL type. It's not any of these special types here that Google, I mean, uh, with that Sugar Serum has. It's just a direct URL. Paste the URL from that page into here. And that will set up the scheduled task. Um, you could run it every five minutes instead of every two minutes once you're you know done geocoding the majority of your um, 
of your data it's going to take a few days perhaps if you have you know hundreds of thousands of records uh, it may take several days or even weeks to properly geocode everything but one of the the valued benefits of this package is that there is a address cache module which stores a lot of this information based on the address that's used uh, the one line address that's sent over to the Google Maps geocoding API there's a latitude longitude that is returned and it's cached into a maps address cache module this module stores a whole bunch of address cache information so that you don't have to make the typical requests for say for example you have an account with 10 contacts each one of those contacts has the same address as it's usually you know built off the same account or for example you know when a lead comes in you might have the same address associated to the lead and the account and a bunch of contacts and even a bunch of projects or opportunities so there's a lot of redundancy with the address this speeds up the process because the program looks for the address cache first before it does a geocoding um, a geocoding request out to uh, the Google Maps geocoding API so if we go back to our accounts while I was in there looks like some contacts probably ran now I've got uh, 127 contacts that are okay 73 there not quite okay it's probably you know the dumb, dummy data didn't quite map very well you can also export if you scroll down here if you need to export geocoding information or export accounts contacts leads or prospects that are in need of geocoding those links there will export just the address one-liner um, and this is meant to work with the address cache module so you can export these details into a CSV file and then externally run your um, you know, geocoding through some other program other than the, than the Google Maps uh, geocoding, geocoding API uh, a lot of clients you know that have the the really big data if you have like you know 500,000 records you may choose to to get the addresses geocoded somewhere else where it's a little more efficient somebody that can process that information more than just 2500 records per day um, there's also a solution with with Google where you can set up a business account uh, if you need to change the geocoding API URL if you go into the configuration section scroll down until you see uh, the geocoding API URL you can change that um, to basically any source um, or any, any different business type source that uh, that you have through the Google uh, business account hope that explains some of the functionality for the geocoding counts if uh, you have any questions uh, you know please let me know there is support packages available on jjwdesign.com. Feel free to check out the add-ons that I've been working on. And good luck with your maps. Thanks.